Hello friends and potential friends. Well, I decided I better take another look around the garden because my time's running short. I am just absolutely amazed at how fast this stuff is growing. Here's the sunflowers that I, I got those seeds from peanut and I was very late planting them but they are coming up in gangbusters that big one's about two and a half maybe three feet tall but look at the size of those leaves I mean I get a big hand <laughs> and I can't cover that leaf I guess since they get full Sun right where they're at every day and all day they didn't de they decided they didn't really have to get real tall so they put their efforts into making more leaves. A little bit of a head starting to form in there, but I don't think I'm going to be seeing it. The okra, on the other hand, that's just now starting to take off. And I really don't think it's got enough time to produce anything before the cold hits. And this corn, I think I planted on the 4th of July. It's finally knee high and it's just starting to tassel. And, oh, yep, there's one. It's starting to form ears. But that's about a week behind the other corn. And this is the other corn. This stuff started tasseling about a week ago and it's putting on ears and it's got silks coming out. I saw a couple of these stalks that it looked like they want to have three ears on them. They are, now granted they're in a raised bed, 17 inch raised bed. They are well over my head and they seem to be pretty happy. Here's one over here that looks like it might wind up with three ears. Got the silks out there waiting to collect that pollen and make some corn. And meanwhile, speaking of happy, this is a pumpkin. It originally was planted in that bed and now it's going everywhere and yes we do have some pumpkins there's one there and there's one there and there's one over there and there's one there and there's one there I think you get the idea. I could keep doing this. <laughs> the hard part is getting to where they're growing because they're growing everywhere. I used to be able to walk down this aisle. I see two down over there right now. And I happen to know that there's one hanging off the side of this one raised bed. And it's pretty good size. It's just that I can't seem to get there from here. Oh, there's one right there too. And I bet there's some more in here. Mom's gonna be up to her ears in pumpkins. Her decorative corn is still trying to keep going. Only the three stalks actually germinated, but they're still in there and they're trying to stay ahead of the pumpkins and the zucchinis. Did I mention zucchinis? We've been eating zucchini every day this week. And we still got more we're going to be eating. I think that one is going to come back to Florida with me. It's ready to be picked now. And oh, there's another pumpkin. And 
There's a couple more. That one's about five inches long. Over on this side is one that's about eight inches long. We got one in the house that's about 12 to 14 inches long. And oh, there's another pumpkin. <laughs> and there's another pumpkin. Oh boy. And there's another one down there, and there's another one there. This is how I have to go to look at the one big one that I've got back here. And I got to be very careful where I put my feet because there's another pumpkin, and there's another pumpkin, and there's another pumpkin. And the big one that I'm trying to get back to right now is right in here and it's starting to change colors. That one may be going back to Florida with me too. If I can get in here to harvest it. <laughs> oh, and I do have a sunflower over here for my first planting. It struggled quite a bit to stay ahead of the pumpkins, but it finally made it. Hasn't got nearly the big leaves like the ones out in the main, the in-ground bed. But it's, it tried its best. It made it above the pumpkins. And now it's trying to keep going. Now let's see if I can get out of here. And along with the pumpkins, we still have squash. There's a spaghetti squash. That one's starting to turn and that might go back to Florida with me too. There's a few more forming up in here. And there are a couple over here that are getting pretty good size. This is the spot where we were fighting those squash bugs. And there's another pumpkin it looks like. We thought that was an acorn squash, but it clearly is not. So, and there's another spaghetti squash down there. And more pumpkins forming. More pumpkins in here. And then here's the one okra plant that mom planted. We've been getting a few pods off of it now and again. She's already decided she's going to plant more okra next year. More squash. We got bell peppers all over the place in here. This one plant, but it's probably got close to a dozen peppers growing on it. And it's all shaded out by the squash. Got a Marconi over here. And back behind it is a sweet banana pepper. And then we have the eggplant. We're having eggplant for supper tonight, as a matter of fact. We picked a big one off of here a few days ago. Got another big one right here that is just about ready to go. Another small one down here. There are a few other small ones starting to form and blossoms all over the place in here. So mom's going to be eating a lot of eggplant pretty quick too. Starting with tonight. And I'm looking forward to that. I haven't had good eggplant since I was a kid. And down in here, we got a little bit of basil. We've been picking that regular. There's some sage over there. There's another basil plant down there. They seem to really like being in the shade of these squash. Well, squash and pumpkins. There's another pumpkin. <laughs> ah. Yep, going to have lots of pumpkins. And then the one I keep saving for last is the tomatoes. This is our tomato jungle. And she planted one Praxis cherry tomato. It is down in here. It is up to here. 
it is producing tomatoes like you wouldn't believe. It also grows back in there. In fact, there's one that's begging me to eat it. It also grows over into here. If that thing was staked up, it would probably be six foot tall easily. But we let them just sprawl and do their own thing. And we've been eating t cherry tomatoes. These, these things are almost like slicers. I slice them up and put them on toast and call it a sandwich. And it sure is good. And then along with the Praxis, we've got some Ponderosas down here. Been keeping a close eye on this guy, because that thing is just about ready. And we've got a few of them in the house already. We've had a few sandwiches out of them. There's another one down there. Then we have these little oblong shaped cherry tomatoes and they've been producing like you wouldn't believe. When they first started producing they had a bit of an acidy taste to them but as the season went on they've got mi gotten milder and milder and now they've reached a point where they're a pretty good snacking tomato. And then we have this guy down here I think she got this one from my little sister I believe it's supposed to be a better boy and this thing had blossoms all over it since I got here but it just recently started forming fruits a couple of them down in there I think I remember yeah there's one up here I mean they're gonna be a good slicer but they better hurry up and start ripening this time is getting short and I usually have every morning I have to go in here to pick tomatoes and as you can see there's lots of them in there I didn't pick any today probably should have because there will be twice as many tomorrow and they are just everywhere we've been eating a lot of tomato sandwiches But anyway, this is probably my last video look at the garden because I'm going to be hitting the road here pretty soon. In fact, by the time you see this, I'll probably be back in Florida. Just dreaming about this place. Because I'll tell you, this is a gardener's dream. You plant seeds in the ground. You put a little water on them and you get out of the way so they don't hit you in the chin as they start growing. It certainly is different from Florida. And I sure have enjoyed this summer. And that's pretty much it, I think. So, I'll see you next time.